Yeah, hi everyone. Now we are going to see how to convert the CSV file to Parquet file and how to uh, convert the CSV file to JSON file by using Python. Okay. See here, first we need to install the pandas. Okay. Uh, it, uh, due to some uh, versions on uh, your local, it will ask us to in install PyArrows. It may not. Okay. But pandas is a mandatory uh, for working on the data streaming part, working on the files, file conversions, and uh, sometimes you may need to install the PySpark also. Okay, so and here I am installing the boot 3 Why? Because I have working on the uh, Lambda console uh, on the AWS desktop. So I have installed the uh, boot 3 Okay, so uh, see, while, while working on local, you may import different uh, packages which supports for your console, uh, local local mission. But while going to the server, AWS server, Lambda region, uh, on uh, it will not support for every region. Okay. Let us say like if you go for N Virginia region, Virginia region, you can uh, get the, uh, by importing the AWS uh, data wrangler. So from there, you can go for uh, working on the CSV or uh, JSON to Python, all these things. Okay. Why? Because the, the layers are provided in the Lambda console itself in the in, in Virginia region. If you go for in Mumbai region or some other regions, uh, it will not support it. Let me show you. First, I need to go to log in my account. Just a minute. So, we show you Okay, see, currently in N Virginia region, if you go for Lambda control on N Virginia region. See, if you go for creation of the new function, let me do some test name, test, uh, just type the test name. Uh, here you have to choose the Python version. See here I just choose the older version. And here you need to create a, a Lambda permission or you can also choose the existing group. I have already done with the existing group. So create a function. Okay, it will displace the sample code and here we need to uh, work on the this code part okay where this is the local i have in the in my local mission but working on uh, this uh, part we need to add the layer okay see here the add layer part will be there by going to click on add layer it will come to here see now as of now there is no layers click on add a layer See, if you go for AWS layer, see data of Lambda, AWS Lambda 3.7, it will support here NumPy and uh, it will be shown some, see, Wangler also, data Wangler also in there. Okay, you can use this. Okay, here it will show, it will support for Python 3.7, uh, if you go for here, so you can go for adding, adding that one to the Lambda console and we can import the packages and we can work on the code part. Okay, see if I move to Enverging, uh, so some Mumbai region on AWS same account, to Lambda, different Lambda region. Okay, let me show you. See, I'm just creating a function here and just giving some end test. Okay, end test. Here you have to choose the Python version. And say here yeah, you need to choose the uh, role. So just create a function. After creating function, we must go to the layer. See here, uh, as of now, there is no layer. Click on layer. 
see here it is showing only for 3.37 fca py we supports only for numpy okay where we can't work with the data variable means it numpy will not support us for conversion of the file okay so i'm back to emerging region see i already created one uh, trial function see here you need to just wait see here we need to import uh, these things data wrangler and uh, where you are working on lambda right so you need to call the uto3 and if you need to convert uh, some json it will be default one json you can uh, keep it or you can uh, remove it if you don't require see here i am not using in this code i am not using the json see just uh, calling the bucket and passing the url and just converting the uh, csv file to parquet file okay if it uh, if i click on test it will works the same content i have written on my local machine see i have imported four pack four packages okay fast parquet and pandas and py errors and it is common uh, package for working on lambda so yeah, as i said now we need we don't need to uh, import the packages every package out there you just need to import pandas and you can work on the data wrang okay here i'm just showing you on the local part see uh, here i'm just reading this path csv file okay see i'll just naming some other example like example csv okay i'll just see here example csv if i open this this is the data so close this and see as of now we don't have any part so i think here one part file is there i'm just removing it and just removing it and just removing this one also see there is no parquet file right to observe one by one there is no parquet file okay by running the code the csv file will be converted into the parquet file result dot parquet file okay uh, see uh, as of now we are not working on the lambda console so on the aws part so just uh, making the com uh, this one as a comment and just running on the local machine okay see uh, i am not using the part uh, yes for that we need to, so uh, keep it the package is same and uh, try to run the code go to terminal i'm just comfort with this so i just turn this and uh, the file name is csv2 csv file okay csv file 2 part 2 Okay. See, it is showing some uh, cannot open this one. Why? Because no such file exists. Which one? Slash C S C file does not exist. Okay, let me check here. C S C file is there. So something went wrong. Just a minute. See, we need to double shoot it. So wait, just wait. I'm just running Python. C S V. Let me run it. Yeah, it's working fine. Somehow uh, the previous link is shown like that. Now see, I don't do any changes, but it is running now. See, uh, means without errors, it is showing uh, the next command line. So means it will convert it to result dot parquet file. See, uh, for checking on the result dot parquet file, you need to install Apache part parquet VM. Okay. See, you can open here. See, if you see here, the result dot parquet file is in there. Okay, the same data will be there. If you see here, the same CSV data will be available on the parquet file. See, as I said, if you open on the IDE, it will not open. Okay, so you need to go to the uh, installation of parquet viewer of uh, this like this. Okay, just open the parquet file. 
see, as I mentioned, we need to go to the particular path. My path is just go for it. I thought it was yes, this one. See here, uh, within the timestamp, we are uh, seeing the parted track. Open it, it will display the data. Okay. So this is how we convert the parquet file, uh, CSV to parquet file. Okay. So now uh, how to convert the CSV to uh, JSON? See, instead of parquet to parquet is the file uh, conversion method. Here we are just using to JSON. Then the file will be go and sit into the in JSON format. See, let me run this one JSON also. Python, the file name, CSV, CV hyphen, json dot py is the file name where uh, we are running the json file okay hit enter see it is converted with the uh, result dot json you can see see in id is we can uh, install the uh, what i say uh, the json viewer so i have just done it so i'm just opening the file see the data is available here but it will show some uh, json format okay so this is how, uh, where we can do the same things on the browser uh, with the cloud also. So see, I just, I will just show you uh, by running, see, by running, I think we have these buckets. Let me test it. If you, if we don't have the buckets on the S3 level, it will show an error again. So again, we need to troubleshoot some issues. We need patience for working on this uh, Lambda. Why? Because it will show uh, some uh, different, uh, troubleshoot issues okay see it is showing success if i go to the code the url the location is showing like csv file okay and it is showing uh, the uh, sorry url is showing csv file and location is showing uh, parquet file okay so let me go to the bucket let me check whether the parquet file has been uh, created or not Okay, go to S3. See, in this uh, bucket, we have converted the JSON to in, in uh, index.parquet file. See, sam, example 014. And the CSV file is example 01. So go to the bucket. See, here the CSV file is there, username.csv. See, okay. And uh, the index.parquet file will be go and sit on the, some other bucket. Go back to the bucket. See, the, which is the timestamp, we can find the updated uh, the data also. See, here, uh, again, you, you are not able to see the content thing. So you need to download it and you need to open it in the Parquet application. OK. See, uh, if you have any queries, I'll just uh, rename it uh, with the index to some uh, other name. Demo. Excuse me. See, again, I am trying to uh, save it. I'm deploying it. The changes are not required it is showing. After deployment completion, it will show changes. Changes updated. Success. You can click on test again on the code part. See, if the network is good, it will use the result first. So again, it works fine. So if you go here, if you refresh, the demo.parquet file it should be placed here. This is the target bucket, right? Where we are pushing the target uh, CSV to, converting the uh, CSV to parquet file for this bucket. So go over there and refresh. See, demo.parquet file is there. See, with the same content. Okay. So uh, this is how we can do on the Lambda console and uh, in the local also. If you have any queries regarding this, uh, see, uh, suppose you may got any uh, doubt. Okay. We have n number of CSV files in uh, one bucket. How to do that? Okay. Without uh, manual interruption, how to do that? Okay. You can uh, comment me and you can uh, reach me through uh, reach me out here the uh, comment box okay share my video and like it and subscribe my channel thank you for it.